my name is Kristen Stanford and I'm the recovery plan coordinator for the Lake Erie Water Snake and we're here in Ohio on South Bass Island at the Shaft East Point Nature Preserve looking for Lake Erie Water Snakes today. They are a state endangered federally threatened species found nowhere else in the world but here in the western basin of Lake Erie in Ohio and um, in southern Ontario, Canada. So the reason the water snakes were listed um, in 1999 were due to three primary threats to their population. Uh, the first was low population size. The second was habitat destruction. And the third and probably most important reason was um, human persecution. So every year we conduct an annual population census for the Lake Erie water snake. And what that involves is basically getting about five to ten volunteers together and going to one of 14 of our intensive study sites and scouring the shoreline for all the adult snakes that we are able to catch. We estimate the number of snakes um, at our different study sites by utilizing mark and recapture techniques. So here's one of our Lake Erie water snakes. Um, it's actually got that green mark on it because it means that it's an animal that we've recently had in the laboratory and processed. So what we can do then is just scan it, get the pit tag number, and then re-release it relatively quickly. And it just save us, saves us on time when we are trying to measure um, a lot of animals. After we catch the animals, we take um, some appropriate and annual and regular data measures on them, including snout vent length, uh, mass. We score them for sex and color pattern. And then we also look for the presence of a uh, recently consumed prey item. And that's how we're able to determine that the water snakes are eating about 90% round gobies now. The round goby is an invasive species to Lake Erie. It's a, called a Pontocaspian invader. So it's from the Black and Caspian Seas over in Russia and it came into the western basin in Lake Erie in probably about the mid-1990s. The round gobies are harmful to our native species because they will come into our native species nests and basically eat all of the eggs and fry in a very short period of time. And it was about the, the mid to late 1990s when we first started seeing a gobies pop up in Lake Erie water snake diet samples. Normally when you would think about how an invasive might affect a threatened species, you would think that that interaction might be really harmful. And what we've been able to show with our research is that um, since the water snakes have been consuming round gobies, they've increased their maximum body size, they've increased their reproductive rate, um, and as well as their survival rate and population growth rate. Any day now, uh, we'll, the announcement will come out where the water snakes will be removed from the list of threatened and endangered wildlife, which is a really great ending to our story.